Hello, we are happy you could join us today. We have some awesome sites in mind. The Wall of Love, the Catholic Church, where Jesus' heart is kept, and then onto some unique foods in Paris. Spoiler alert, Elaine eats crickets. To get to the Sacred Heart of Paris, we took the train to the Montmartre district. As we ascended the stairs, we could see a peekaboo view of the Moulin Rouge. It looked very different in person than we had expected. However, the iconic windmill told us we were in the right place. The best way to describe the Montmartre district discreetly is to say that it's a lover's paradise. Next, we began to climb the summit of the Butte of Montmartre. The church is seated high above the Seine River. It could be seen from any part of the city and the climb includes some steep streets and 270 stairs. On the way, we stopped to see the iconic Wall of Love in the Yehan Richtus Garden, where I Love You is written in 311 languages, including 192 languages of the United Nations, covering 612 lava tiles, which span 430 feet. I see Japanese. Wow, look, that goes all the way over there and all the way down. Crazy. Locks are now a tradition on the bridges of the Seine River in Paris. People inscribe initials or names on the padlocks. Generally, couples lock them and then throw away the keys. The Sacred Heart of Montmartre. It was built over a period of 40 years over five different architects. Inside the basilica, you can admire the biggest mosaic in France on this ceiling. A splendid creation of around 480 meters squared depicting Christ in all his glory. Basilica is a Roman Catholic church which claims to hold the sacred heart of Jesus. After the Notre Dame Cathedral, this cathedral is the most visited in France with just a little over 10 million people a year visiting this holy place. And only recently approved as a National Historic Monument in December 2022. Here is a silver statue of the Virgin Mary holding the baby Jesus. The Basilica overlooks the city of Paris from 200 meters above the Seine River. After the Eiffel Tower is the second most popular tourist destination. The Andre Museum is famous for hosting eight gigantic murals of Claude Monet's water lilies, painted from his garden in Gouvernay. We got to go to Monet's home and see his water lily pond, and we thought we knew exactly what we were in for. But the sheer size of these paintings made us stop in our tracks. Here, Monet's water lily paintings stretch across entire walls of the oval-shaped galleries on the ground floor of the museum. The idea, in Monet's words, was to create the illusion of an endless hole of water without horizon or bank. Each painting depicts the same scene, but at different times of day, during different seasons, and different weather. In the basement of the museum, we found ourselves enthralled by more modern artists we didn't even expect to see. My personal favorite was a recreation of an artist's studio where every time he recreated the drawing, he took the time to put every color pastel that he had in his studio. That was very impressive. Since it was our first time in Paris, we wanted to experience all of France's famous traditional cuisine. France is known for its flaky croissants, colorful macarons, fresh daily baguettes, which are easily made into sandwiches, and flavorful quiches. We saw countless amazing desserts and delicatessens, and finally caved, ordering a delicious berry tart. After exploring the Pantheon, see more about that here, we found a crate cart and couldn't resist. Mm -hmm. oh, that's that's so Chicken for you. Yes. Yes. Oh, 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 yes.
Όχι, έβαλε τα κλάματα για ένα και σοβαρό λόγο. Γιατί το πήρε από εμά. Since we travel on a budget, we created an apparel index. An apparel spritz is a common French cocktail that we could find on any menu. We discovered if the apparel spritz was between five and nine euros, we could afford the restaurant. The most we saw it for was for 16 euro, but regardless of the price, they were always refreshing. As we travel, we like to find traditional foods like baked cheese or the soup. Well, in France, it's French onion, of course, and it's fantastic. We like to try unique foods which are sometimes traditional, like escargot or snails, poached egg and red wine sauce, and sometimes more rare, than in this case, crickets. Really? Barbecue. Barbecue flavor. I put it on here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's unique. Where else? We can't do this in America. It's part of the experience. Would you like some crickets? Oh, yeah. I'm going to give them to you like this. Oh, table crickets. Since we spent a month here, we had time to taste some of the non-traditional foods still served to French standard, such as sashimi, pizza and calzones, carbonara, and a lot more. Everything was absolutely amazing. Look at this melty cheese. Mm -hmm. 